Hey there, and welcome to the Game Manager. Because before we start, no one knows what it's like to be a master. A new man comes into town. His name is Marcus Lancelot. He is a fabled hero who has traveled village to village, killing the monsters that haunt them. He did not make it here in time though. The farm project that we started as a community to prevent starvation has failed. The farmers working the land were slain by the goblins, and now we have to start anew. However, Marcus says that this ends now. He has started building up an army to go hunt those goblins down and says that they will be done within two weeks. That, that kind of sounds like someone running a game, right? But it's not. That's just a turn in the game, the quiet year. In this game, you will get the full experience of being a game master. Through it, you will have to do things such as create NPCs, build a world around your community, decide the consequences of the people's actions, and much more. Before we get started though, remember to like and subscribe so I can keep on bringing much more content about gaming, TTRPGs, and other tabletop games. The game itself is super simple. First, you decide who your community will be. Then, every player gets to choose one feature of the environment, whether it's mountains, rivers, or the giant abandoned husk of a robot. You then decide what the resources that are important to your village are. Food, water, protection, electricity even. And then you decide which ones of them you have in nexus and which ones you lack. After this, the game starts. Every turn represents a week in a year. You first draw a card, and the player that drew it decides how that card is resolved. Once that has been done, all the project die are advanced. The projects have a certain duration, and after that amount of weeks have passed, the project is complete. And then the player gets to take an action. An action can be anything, from a discovery in which you just introduce a new element into the world, such as a hidden cave, some ruins, or perhaps even another community that lurks nearby. Or you start a new project. Perhaps the community has been struggling to make ends meet with food, so you decide to create a farm or start a hunting party. The last option is to hold a discussion. During discussions, all the players get to express how they're feeling about a certain issue. The player that started the discussion gets to make a question and everyone just gets one chance to answer it. This really makes it feel like this is a community with living issues and ongoing struggles. What makes this game great is the fact that all the cards are amazing prompts for improvisation. You have to introduce new elements constantly. The cards will tell you whether that new element is an NPC, a whole community, a new problem, perhaps a mystery within the community. And you really get this feeling that you are reacting to prompts. And that feeling is very similar to what you get when you are running any form of game. Your players will constantly be throwing these new prompts, these new ideas at you, and you have to find a way to react. This game is also fantastic if your game master cannot run a game sometime and you just want to play with your friends, or even if you want to give your game master a break and a chance to play without actually going full in and running a game yourself. Finally, if you think that you want to start being a game master, but you're not super sure about your improv skills, give this game a go. If you do all right, even if you play it by yourself, then you will probably feel a lot more confidence after that, because you will have been reacting to a lot of prompts and you will have created your own world. If you are a game master, however, I would still recommend that you check this game out. If you are struggling to make new quests and need some prompts, this game is amazing at that. How is this for a questline? The eldest of the village has fallen ill, and you need the cooperation of the whole community to heal him. You have to first get the town to come together with this common interest and stop whatever they're doing. You got a lot of social interactions with that. And then, once you have either gathered the resources or set up how the healing process will be done, your party has to go on a quest to, get the, to gather the materials. There's a lot of ideas like this, and if you have some creative luck, which I know happens to a lot of game masters, just read the PDF and maybe draw a couple of cards, and I promise that you will be out of it pretty quickly. 
So anyway, if you want to get that experience but you're not ready, or even if you're already running a game or you already have run games, check this game out. It really gets the creative juices flowing and it can go to the wildest places. Everything from just a super wholesome school community trapped in a zombie apocalypse, which might have been influenced by an anime somewhere, to an insane story about a surfing village that develops a cult to a sunk ship that was still emitting some Morse code, wrote their own holy book titled dot 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 dash 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 dot dot dot, and then started having executions based on their religion. <laughs> These are both games I actually ran before. <laughs> it makes sure to implement safety mechanisms, much like in any RPG that you're playing, but have fun and really go crazy with it. Anyway, this has been the Game Manager. I hope you enjoyed this content, and if you did, make sure to let me know. Give a like, subscribe, and put a comment down there. I would love to talk about many other cool games, and I will keep doing so. So like always, keep playing and keep having fun.